Bonjour à tous, bienvenue aux entrevues du Portail Zen. Aujourd'hui, j'ai le plaisir de retrouver au Salon du livre M. John P. Strelicky. Je vais faire l'introduction en français, mais je vais vous faire la traduction en sous-titres par la suite. Donc, M. Strelicky est euh, l'auteur du Wine Café Deluxe, le nouveau, la nouvelle version du Wine Café. Euh, mes nouveaux moments AA qu'on voit ici et aussi les, euh, la suite des cinq grands rêves de vie que vous pouvez tous avoir aux éditions Le Dauphin Blanc. Euh, Monsieur Strelicky est auteur conférencier et rejoint des millions de personnes à travers le monde. Il est reconnu avec Oprah, Lance Armstrong et Deepak Chopra comme l'une des personnes ayant le une des 100 personnes ayant le plus d'influence euh, au niveau du domaine du leadership et du développement personnel. Alors, welcome, uh, Mr. Strelicky. Uh, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. So, uh, it's the second time that we see each other. Um, today, I will talk about a bit about the aha moments. I loved it. The Wine Café Deluxe is, um, is a, a nice re-edition. Uh, re of the book that you uh, can give to, uh, that we can give as a gift in, at Christmas. It will be a great gift, a beautiful new book. It has uh, a, uh, a special Christmas story in it, actually. Oh, it, it is? Oh. Yeah, so there's, uh, I think it was last year, uh, I was inspired to ask myself, what happens at Le Wai Cafe at Christmas time? Okay. And so I wrote a story, and so in the deluxe edition, not only does it have the, the whole Le Wai Cafe story, but it also has the Christmas story. Before I get to the aha moment, we can say that there's something new about the White Cafe. Uh, yeah, so the big news for all of you who are watching that are Le White Cafe fans is that uh, we're working on a movie. And uh, we expect it'll be out probably 2018. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm spending most of my time is saying, okay, in what way can we bring Le White Cafe to the big screen? That's great. And I hope that we will see you in the movie a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do my best to at least make a cameo. So if you watch the whole movie, watch for the hat, and then you'll be like, wait, that was him. <laughs> <laughs> great. I cannot wait to see it. I, um, I'm very glad that you dis do this. Um, so in the book, The Aha Moments, there was a page, page 95. Um, that you speak about uh, not following the mass. It is easy to live a life of mediocrity. Do what the mass does, follow the same routine each day. Believe what everybody else tells you to believe. Uh, it leaves you with a sensation of emptiness. And this, is, this um, phrase did reach me a lot because I was very young and I was always telling to myself, I won't be like everybody else. Yeah. I was very young. Yeah, and when you're a kid, uh, or even a young adult, or even you know, in your 20s, and you're saying, I just have this sense that I want to do something different. I want to be something different. I want to act differently. Uh, and you don't know how that's going to fit in, how, how that's going to work out. But then when you start to really live in your authentic state, like everything starts to happen in such a wonderful way. But I think that's one of the big life challenges, is to allow yourself to be you, whatever so, that is. <laughs> so this is you teach people in your conference. Yeah, so one of the big challenges for people is like, I, I talk about the big five for life. And so what are the five things that you most want to do, see, or experience in your lifetime while you're here on this amazing planet? And so for most people, they struggle, like what are those things? And so the course is designed to, to enable people to get clear. Um, because when you know what those five things are, then you can start aligning your resources, your time, your energy, even your financial resources towards those things. But if you don't know what they are, it's like wandering an endless hallway, you know? And you just feel like, I don't even know why I keep walking, because it all looks the same and it all feels the same. But when you know that, no, this is the way, this is where I want to take my life, like, everything starts to change. This is where we have to begin. This is. Uh, to know who we are and what we want because we're always taught in the schools and in the system to be like everybody else. Yeah, and so there's, I mean, there's great things that you learn, right? You know, to read, obviously, I, I love to read, um, to write. Uh, thank goodness that I was taught those things. And, and so that provides a foundation of the basics. But then the question is, so what are you going to do that's uniquely you? You know, how are you going to follow your heart, your passion, So that when you wake up every Monday morning, instead of being like, another Monday, right? And I have been there, like so much of my early years, I was like, another Monday. 
um, but life is short and so you don't want to spend your entire life waking up with that face and that feeling on a Monday. You want to wake up and you're like, all right, another day. <laughs> I can't wait to get into it. And you know there's something wrong when you wake up with that feeling of, oh, no, what? No. Yeah, that's the wake-up call. Um, someone's, there's this great Buddhist expression that says, dissatisfaction is the first step to enlightenment. And you know, if, if this moment, whether it's your Monday morning or whatever, if it makes you feel very blah, that's the first step to say, okay, so what doesn't feel like that? You know, is it time at the beach? Is it spending time with my friends? Is it drawing? Whatever. But that's the first step to saying, I want to do something different. And it can be small. Yeah, you know, sometimes we think, oh my gosh, like, I need to go change the world. <laughs> and, 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 like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome if, yeah. if that's where your life ends up taking you. Yeah. But maybe at the start, it's as simple as saying, I'm going to allow myself to spend five minutes a day doing something I love versus feeling like I'm always doing an obligation, right? Maybe it's then five minutes becomes six. I, I, I always think to myself, if you just change one minute a day, right? Because changing your whole life sounds dramatic, <laughs> right? But so I ask myself, I ask people, like, can you change one minute today? Yes, of course, everyone can change a minute. Okay, so change one minute today and do something that you love. Okay, then tomorrow I want you to find one minute. Okay, well, if you did that for an entire year, by the time that year is done, you've changed six hours of your day, every day, and you're gonna look at your life so differently. And all you gotta do is one minute. It's a great, great thing to do. And um, following this, uh, this idea, I was asking you uh, earlier, um, as an American, and as a uh, from a spiritual point of view, uh, what do you think about the... I don't like to talk about politics, but I think there's something behind that, be, behind all of this, all um, behind the um, election of uh, Mr. Donald Trump. Uh, people are angry, people like this and that, but it tells us a lot about we don't know about ourselves, so we elect... Some, someone like this. So I, a couple of things. First of all, it's very easy to get caught up in what's going on around the world, so much so that we forget to live our own lives. So regardless of who is elected, regardless of what sports team won or lost, uh, regardless of sort of what's going on that everyone's trying to capture your attention, at the end of the day, the question is still the same, which is, are you allowing yourself to live your life? Or are you allowing everyone else to tell you what you should be excited about, what you should be angry about, what you should be frustrated about? And so for me, I, that's the great adventure of life, is to close that off and just to allow myself to be in my state and to focus on the five, my big five for life. Uh, because I think the rest of that stuff, if you're not careful, that will encompass you every second of your life. You know? Because there's always something to be angry about, or they're always on TV, they're just putting this on front. Yeah, and it's often so sensationalized because the goal, like, the, the world is now so um, adrenaline filled that to get your attention, whatever they're trying to tell you about has to be like, wow, 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 right? <laughs> and it, it can't just be this, it's got to be like dramatic, right? Yeah. So I've, I'm an avid traveler, as you know from our conversations, and I have been in other countries where the news report back in my own country is saying, the world is falling apart and there's protests everywhere. And I'm staying right in the same city where supposedly all this is going on. And I'm like, there's like 10 people on a street corner. Like, I, you know, so you got to be very careful to let other people dictate what you should be thinking about. You know, allow yourself to think about what you want to think about. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much for meeting you again. You're full of, uh, uh, we say, sagesse, uh, wisdom. <laughs> Thank you. Every day I try and allow myself to be open to learning something new. Um, one of the reasons that I was excited to write the AHA series of books was because I have these, like, what seem to be crazy, bizarre, weird thoughts all the time, right? <laughs> and, and they're always, like, something that makes me think about my life, about life itself, about the universe. And so I was like, well, how do I let people know these crazy thoughts that I'm having without having to write it all in a book? And so AHA's gives me a chance to just take each thought and write it on a page. Yeah. 
And it's easy to read. We can uh, just flip a page and take the message for us. Yeah, that was the idea. Is that you know sometimes you you're going through your very busy life and you just need a moment of inspiration, and so you don't have time to read an entire book. And so the ahas is like pick it up, flip to any page, and just read what's there. So thank you very much. People can reach you at your website. Um, yeah, you can always find me johnstrelecki.com, and that'll work your way through. Thank you. Uh, have a great stay in Montreal. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure.